It's a long way from the flatlands of central Indiana's Hamilton County to the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains and Moorhead State University. But for Steve Inskeep, it was a journey he had to make. This sounds like a joke, but it's totally true that I grew up in Indiana and when it came time to go to college, I wanted to get as far away from Indiana as I could imagine. And the next state over was, was it. Um, and it turned out actually to be a different world. Eastern Kentucky is just a very different place than central Indiana, although there are some connections. And it was a huge learning experience for me. And for the host of National Public Radio's Peabody award-winning program, Morning Edition, that experience was enhanced by his teachers. It was exciting to come to Moorhead State and to be in a class with this guy named Dale Greer and to learn that he had done, he'd been on TV, he'd done big city television news and now he was coming to teach us. Or to talk to someone like Michael Beale who had his head wrapped around a lot of theory about broadcasting and, and how it worked. There were a lot of people who taught me a lot and just as important, maybe even more important, gave me opportunities to polish my skills. The Hoosier teenager soon discovered that broadcasting and a zeal to communicate was in his blood. It was the 1980s. We were using these things called VHS cassettes, which there's an entire generation probably doesn't even know what they are anymore. And we were going in and editing uh, and shooting these faux documentaries. I remember shooting a couple of totally bogus documentaries uh, about made up events with my friends, but learning how to edit video to make it look good. And I got so obsessed with this that I went into Breckenridge Hall and I went into this little room where you would edit. And I was there for hours and hours and hours, far into the night, maybe midnight. And then uh, I finished and I opened the door to this windowless room and it was completely dark outside. Every other light in Breckenridge was turned off and I had to feel my way slowly out of the building without killing myself. Inskeep took advantage of the opportunities available to him at Moorhead State. One of them was a chance to work at the university's public radio station, WMKY. Very early in my time at Moorhead, maybe even orientation before I was even a, a student, I went up the hill at the back side of campus and there was a little house there, which is where the radio station then was. And there was a general manager named Larry Netherton who said hello and introduced me to other staff members and gave me an opportunity to do some work there for $3.35 an hour, minimum wage in the 1980s. I didn't really know what public media were. I didn't really understand public radio. I'd heard a public radio station in my hometown of Indiana without quite grasping what that was. I didn't really get what NPR was. I didn't get what WMKY was doing. What I understood was that it was an opportunity. In my case, it was an opportunity mostly to do sports. I would do the halftime sports scoreboard uh, at, at the halftime of Moorhead State football and basketball games. He also worked as a board operator and put the radio station on the air at 6 o'clock on Saturday mornings. That's where he became familiar with NPR's style of journalism. At 8 o'clock in the morning, you would press a button and the national news would come on, NPR news would come on, Weekend Edition Saturday with Scott Simon. And I would sit there listening to that two-hour program, sometimes giving the weather, and then they would play it again. So I would listen to everything twice. And I really grew to appreciate public radio from that experience. And because I heard everything twice, I got to think about how they did what they did. And why did Scott Simon tell that joke that way? And why did it work? And why did someone pause so long to answer that question? You had an opportunity to get your head around the details that make a story great and make a story memorable. In the years that followed, making stories memorable became Steve Inskeep's credo. After graduating from MSU in 1990, he traveled the world, reporting on wars in Afghanistan and Nigeria and interviewing the famous and the infamous. He won the Robert F. Kennedy Journalism Award, an Edward R. Murrow Award, and honors from Columbia University. Inskeep wrote two books, Instant City, Life and Death in Karachi, 
and Jackson Land, which details the conflicts between Andrew Jackson and the Cherokee Nation. His early morning program on NPR is heard by nearly 14 million people every week. I have some of the worst hours in the world, but the trade-off is it's the best job in the world. And it's a job where you can talk to just about anybody. You can talk to a president. You can talk to presidents of multiple countries, as I've had an opportunity to do. Uh, you can talk to uh, warlords. You can talk to gangsters. You can talk to soldiers and generals. But I want to emphasize that for me, the most valuable thing to do and a touchstone that goes through all my reporting is talking to, or actually more properly listening to, learning from what we would call ordinary people people on the street, people you meet in a park. Sometimes at election time, I will simply go door-to-door, uh, -door, knocking on doors. And whoever answers and will tolerate me in their living room for a little while, I find out something about their lives and what's on their minds. One of Inskeep's most memorable experiences was watching the Pentagon burn following the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001 and then being sent to Afghanistan to cover the war. It was an excruciating experience, but in a moment when the country faced great difficulty, I felt like there was something I could do. I could inform people. I could introduce people on the far side of the world to Americans who would never otherwise meet them and give a picture of what was going on. And that's what I've tried to do ever since in one excruciating or divisive or dramatic story after another. As the Carmel, Indiana native now takes his place in the Moorhead State University Alumni Hall of Fame, Steve Inskeep is grateful he can share the milestone with his family. I am pleased that when I got the call saying that I'd be in the Hall of Fame, I was with my wife, Carolyn, who also attended Moorhead State. We met there. And so it was great to be with her and to be with our kids also, and to say that I had received this honor. It's really, it's really touching. It's really touching that people would remember me at all anywhere, uh, but it's especially touching to be remembered at Moorhead.